Uh, good morning to you, uh, brothers and sisters uh, in Christ, and even brothers and sisters that do not believe in Christ and Jesus Christ. But I, I need to get this message out right now. Uh, it's very important. Uh, it is something that God has put on my heart, and I need to fight this battle. And it is a, a doctrine, a false doctrine from hell, that is teaching people that they can continue to live in their sin because Jesus Christ has covered the blood and sin is remembered no more. There are teachers out there right now that I'm fighting against in this. And, and let, me, let me say one thing, okay? Lord, let me pray about it first. Uh, Father God, we come before you right now. Lord, I don't understand your ways and I don't understand why you're using me to um, to bring people to the light. But that's what, in turn, as a Christian, to be Christ-like is supposed to do, is bring people into the light from the darkness and teach them the true word of God and the gospel the way it was meant to be. And this has been interpreted differently. And, Lord God, that you open up the eyes that are blinded to the truth and we can give enough evidence to prove that once saved, always saved, it is a lie from the pits of hell. Thank you for giving me the word. Thank you for giving me the, the knowledge and the discernment to know what is right from wrong. And may I continue to fight the good battle as you asked me to do. And I pray for brothers and sisters in Christ that do not believe in the once saved, always saved doctrine. Come and unite together as brothers and sisters of Christ to fight this life from the pits of hell, to stop people from going into the pits of darkness and being tormented for eternity forever because of a false teacher that is continuing to have them live in sin and not being able to to rid themselves of it when they when they die. But Lord God, help me to spread this news, help me to spread this this lie and gain the truth and knowledge that what you have given me to be the truth. May I spread it from the east to the west as asked. Lord, I am just a humble person. Lord, I am not anything as an egotistical person or anything like that, I humble myself unto you, Lord. I pray to you, Lord, and I ask forgiveness when I've done wrong, Lord. And I will continue to do that. And that is not putting you back on the cross. That is what you're asking us to do. But they say, no, you do not need to do that. And I will fight this battle in the name of Jesus Christ and the blood that was shed on the cross. Amen. Okay, so, like I said, uh, in the Old Testament, uh, prophets were put in place to warn, to give the word of God, and they were not well-known people. They lost their lives because of it. They were persecuted from it. They they were just average, average people used by God to tell the truth. And right now, God is using me to tell the truth. And... Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm, I'm not puffing my chest up about this because it is something that I ask God to show me and now he's going to do it. And I have to spread the truth. And this is going to be a battle for me from hell on earth right now by showing this false gospel, new doctrine of one saved, always saved in believing that because you accepted Jesus Christ in your heart without even having to say the Lord's Prayer, without even having to submit yourself to him in the way that we've been taught in the Bible, which has been going on for ages, and all of a sudden this new doctrine comes along that we do not need to submit to God after we've repented. Now, they do admit that you ask for forgiveness and repentance of what you've done when you've accepted Jesus Christ in your heart and then it's remembered no more for eternity. 
So what they are saying is that sin no, no longer resides in you because Jesus Christ took it for you. Now, there's a couple of teachers that, that, are, that are pushing this on YouTube very heavily. And God told me to warn them. And God gave me a message to them. And this is what it said. Woe, woe, woe unto you, says the Lord. You will be banished for your iniquity and teaching of false promise. I will strike my iron sword or fury upon you. My people know my name. But your teaching is beyond comprehension of understanding the truth of my love. I am slow to anger, yet my wrath can come upon you with a blink of the eye. Be warned of your deceit and be warned of the consequences that you preach the lie of my adversary. Without asking forgiveness, my name to you is erased for your salvation unless you renounce the statements of lies upon my name. I will call you out by name, as Nathan prophesied upon David. He turned himself back unto me by professing and humbling himself on unto me. I know your name and I know your heart. Your love is not from me, but apart. You den of iniquity and taking my name in vain. I warn you with wrath and fury. Turn back and confess your sins. And, and the person's name on YouTube, I've been told to say it, is Greg Jackson because you ridicule, ridiculed my saints now you will bow down unto me to know the truth my word is being told unto you from a man of God I am using to warn you that I am not pleased I will show the truth of my name and you will bow down for your transgressions unless ye be struck down in your iniquity this is what God told me to write down you can believe that where it came from it definitely can't, didn't come from from me okay uh, you can you can feel the touch of God of what it said he told me to write it down he gave it to me I wrote it down as the message that he gave me lukewarm Christians I warn you right now and this is again from God I warn you right now I say in my word, hot or cold. You can be hot on fire for me, or you can be as cold as ice for me. But if you continue to be lukewarm, my word says, I spit you out of my mouth. That was not for that church at that time, but it is for the time of repentance, which is now. You must bow down and ask for forgiveness you must ask for forgiveness for your sins and transgressions and i will hear from heaven that is something that i'm not going to take lightly brothers and sisters if you've been beguiled into this false sense of security that it's okay to accept Jesus Christ once because of what he did on the cross. I I don't know what to say in regards to bringing you back. I can't do that. Only God can do that. But he has shown me that this is wrong. He has shown me that the truth that shall set you free in this doctrine is false because it won't send you free. It continues to put you in bondage, and when the time comes that you die, you have still sin inside you because you did not release it unto me. I, I cry on this. Uh, to be used by God, for people to be changed from a doctrine that is sending people to hell, There was just a simple process in believing on Jesus Christ. There's a simple things that Jesus Christ has said. Call on my name and you shall be saved. 
but he also asked to ask forgiveness. If you do anything wrong against others, then you are to forgive them. And if you cannot forgive them, he cannot forgive you. That would mean yourself as well. You have to forgive yourself and you can't just do it and turn a blind eye to it. And the repent, what repent means is to turn away. It's kind of like doing a 180. Um, you go heading towards your sin, but the Holy Spirit convicts you and you'll do a 180 and you'll turn back to God. And that's repentance and and that's true that is repentance that's turning back to god because you didn't want to go your evil ways but you still have that sin inside you to continue to do that and even without the one saved always saved you still have the sin in you but the difference is when you ask forgiveness and repent of it it is remem remembered no more and it is blotted out of the recordings. But if it's one saved, always saved theory, that once you've accepted Jesus Christ, that all sins are blotted out to the point that you are going to go to heaven when you die because the sins and transgressions have gone. They're totally gone. Satan wants you to believe that. He wants you to believe that it's gone, but it's not. It's still there because you did not get down on your hands and knees and ask forgiveness to have it released. I, I'm not a preacher. I'm, I'm not a person up in the pulpit, um, these people that have thousands of views. But if God wants me to say something that I need to say, I will spread it like a virus. As a virus, COVID-19 is going and scaring a lot of people right now. They're very confused in what's going on. Uh, their salvation is in that position right now that they can either turn away from God or they can get down their hands and knees and ask God for forgiveness uh, and, and surrender to him. But if you have someone that continues to preach once saved, always saved, you are still in your sin. Be not kidded. Do not be deceived by this lie from the pits of hell. And the word of God stipulates it as well. And I'm going to go into that on the next video. And I will show where they believe and they'll only use certain scripture to say that one saved always saved is true and god gave me this message to say it is not and a simple professing and asking forgiveness is also in the old testament just because jesus christ was put on that cross at that time he says, I did not come to change the law. I came to fulfill the law. So sin is still there. David committed adultery. He got punished for what he did. And he was warned of what he did by Nathan the prophet. You are that man, is what he said to him. You are that man, because he wanted to punish that man when, when he was talking about it, and if you read in the Bible, you'll read, and I'm not going to go into that right now, but if you actually read in the Bible, you'll see how as he was walking by and the prophet spoke to him and, and was talking about what, what would you do, and he said he would punish that man, and then Nathan the prophet said, you are that man. Can you imagine God saying, to these people you are that man or you are that woman that is separating my word of God woe to them three times God told me to say woe 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 unto you 
So if you watch this message, well, well, well unto you if you're preaching the, the one saved, always saved doctrine, life from pit of hell. Well unto you. You need to listen to what I said. And this is not just for one person. This will be changed. It, it's the word of God that cannot be changed, just like in the Bible right now, of the word and the message that I'm going to continue to use and change that name and put that into the people that are teaching this false heresy and being heretics for God, against God, against his principles and love, mercy and grace and taking mercy and, and love out and using a grace message because that's what it's all about grace now. It's nothing else about that. It's just about grace because what Jesus Christ did on the cross, that it's grace, it's all been forgiven, and now the grace will have it covered for eternity. So you can... And, and I'm not saying this because a lot of people, if you're a Christian, you will turn away from your sin and you won't do those things that you wanted to do before. You won't. You don't want to do it because you've been changed into a new creation, as it says in Corinthians, that you, the old is gone, the past is erased, and the new has begun, that you become a new creation in Christ. And that's true. You do. But there's a condition to be met. And they won't accept the condition to be met. And I don't understand this principle. And it's such an easy concept. Why would you not ask forgiveness if you've done wrong? And I did a, uh, a video previously, but I'm going to erase it because there was actually a couple of mistakes I made in what I said. So if I've made a mistake, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to renounce it. Uh, because I know if I don't teach the, the proper word of God, then it comes back upon me. So I have to erase that because there's a couple of things. I, I mean, it was in alignment with God, but I made some mistakes in some verses because I didn't have my glasses on and I got home and back for it. And so I will erase that one and this is the one that's going to come into place. And I am going to show that this channel is not all about me. The thing is, if you look at these people that are preaching all this, the channel is all about them. You have a look and look on their playlist. There's no other videos of people going to hell, of Christians literally going to hell, coming back and saying pastors and Christians are in hell. And they've been told that the lie of once saved, always saved, is false. No, they won't teach that. Of course they won't teach that because that is going against the doctrine, what they're being taught to say. They are blinded, okay? I, I, I don't condemn every, anybody to go to hell. Believe me, I don't. After listening to the testimonies and the things what these people say, by all means, no, no man should go to hell, and they, and they weren't meant to go to hell. And it was meant for the angels. And people can't understand this, that rebellion against God, a Lucifer, the angel of life, wanted to be more, more powerful than God himself and wanted to take the angels with him and kind of like a rebellion in heaven that he, he had a lot of power and authority. But God is all God. God is all might. God is all powerful. God is all strength. God is God. He says, if you want to be that way, and he hurled him back down to earth, and he said, that dominion is yours. Take over it. It is yours. And a third of the angels, I mean, it's a lot. A third of the angels, we don't know how many angels are in heaven, but a third of them that are rebelled against God was thrown down and hurled down with Satan to be upon this earth, roaming the earth.
Now, I'm not going to say that I know the knowledge but, of the word, but it says Satan can roam the earth, that he's not in hell as perceived and locked up. Because Revelation says, at the last part of Revelation, after a thousand years, he comes out to deceive others again, but then is thrown into the abyss and the key and locked so he can't get out ever again. So in the word of God, he's not locked up in there now. He's allowed to roam. And he is the one that has come to kill, steal, and destroy. Now, this is going to be part one of this teaching, okay? I'm not going to make it too long. I don't want to make it too long because people turn away when you make things too long. But allow me to show scripture. On my next video. And show where this one saved, always saved. Doctrine is a flaw. If you allow me to do that, as God is showing me to tell others, allow me to do that. So I would ask you to watch the next video. I would ask you to get down on your hands and knees and ask God for forgiveness and repentance. So your heart is cleansed and the sins are remembered no more and blotted out. And I will show the verses that says that, that it can be erased or it can be put back in. And they don't show that and they won't show that. Okay. So right now, this is just an introduction to the teachings. And again, I'm not, I'm an evangelist and that's what I am. That's what God has given me the gift to be an evangelist. I'm not an ordained minister by any means. But you know what? In the Bible, when Jesus called on his disciples, he just called them from nowhere. He walked by and he said, I want you and I'll pick you and I'll pick you. Um, stop being a fisher, fisherman and become a fisher of men. And they just turned and they followed him. There was nothing in um, that they had to do at that particular time to follow him. That's all they wanted to do. They had to give up their worldly possessions and follow Jesus Christ. And we know all of that in the scripture of, of how it happened. And they were just regular people that, that Jesus Christ used to become disciples. And they made mistakes too. And they fought and they quarreled over each other. Plenty of um, things in the Bible that have said that. But when the truth comes and the truth shall set you free, you do not want to be in bondage because of your sin. You want to be set free. And allow me to use the word of God to show you how you can be set free. All right? So if you want to listen to me, um, that's fine. If you want to listen to other preachers that are against one saved, always saved, please do. Because I will share my videos. It's not about me. This channel is not about me. It's all about God. And testimonies and you name it, whatever, I will share in videos, okay? It's not a pride issue with me. There's a pride issue with Lucifer because it was pride that got him thrown down from heaven because of his pride. So pride introduces sin. So obviously pride was the like catalyst or starting of sin because God wouldn't allow it into the kingdom of heaven. So you got to be careful of pride, okay? So that's something I just want to say right now. But if you want to um, listen to the rest of my videos and testimonies and things like that, um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you don't subscribe, I don't care. It's not about me, and I'll say that again. It's not about my numbers. It's not about how many people subscribe to me. It's about getting one person out of the 99 
that was talked about in the Bible of righteous people and one person running away from God. And God himself, Jesus Christ, chased that one and left the 99 righteous alone to catch that sinner, to catch that person that needed to repent and ask forgiveness that ran away. But he ran after him because he wants him. It is so important because one person, just one person, all, it says in Revelation, all the angels in heaven rejoice and celebrate because one has been saved. Who knows why the mercy, the grace, and the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay? So I leave that with you. And again, if you wish to continue to follow me and the, the word of God that's given unto me and the warnings, just an average person, an average show that's been used by God. Thank you for your time. God bless you.